So if you guys remember, almost one and a half years ago, we were supposed to get a new perk in Call of Duty Mobile, which was supposed to be the overkill perk, which basically allows you to have two primary weapons at the exact same time. But the thing is, almost one and a half years since it was announced in one of the best builds, never got added into the game. And I think it completely makes sense because I think it would make the perk way too overpowered. And I think it would be probably the go-to choice of almost 90% of the people. I don't think there would be any way of nerfing that specific perk if it got added. The point of this video is, if you actually think about it, we did get the overkill perk in many different forms in Call of Duty Mobile. And in this video, I'll give you five reasons why we actually got the overkill perk indirectly in Call of Duty Mobile. Let's begin with that. At number five, we have Katanas. Call of Duty Mobile might be the only shooter game that I've ever played, or let's just say the only Call of Duty game which actually allows so much customization to melee weapons. I mean, a couple of months before, we had a really bad phase, especially which ruined Search and Destroy, was when Katana was one of the melee badly abused everywhere and katana initially was pay to win so only the paying players would get that katana version so no free to play version of that was available but finally when they actually released it for everyone it really was one of the worst times in call of duty mobile and it kind of made me think that it was fine that it was a pay to win thing and not available for everyone i've said this earlier saying that again i don't think melee weapons in any shooter game should be able to one shot someone with maximum hp in any multiplayer game at number four the shorty pistol shorty in general is basically a very common pistol when it comes to many shooter games in general but in Call of Duty Mobile when it was added it was one of the most annoying things in the game you can just one shot someone easily up close now it's not at all good as it was initially but still very viable and one of the many ways that we actually got the overkill perk in the game at number three we have Deagle or the 0.50 GS I would say 0.50 GS was very much fair until they added the Akimbo perk for it I would say it was arguably one of the worst things in the game when we had the Akimbo because it was literally better than any other shotgun you can just two tap someone with the akimbo even at medium range in many cases and at up close it literally had no other match so i actually like the deagle because deagle is a very skillful weapon to use if you use it without the akimbo perk it's a two shot weapon to the body at medium ranges as well but also one shot up close up to 10 meters so now the akimbo for deagle is obviously enough to a point that you might not even land a single shot up close when you try to hip fire but i would say if you use the default deagle right now it's still one of the most solid choices in the game at number two we got the thumper i would say I did not enjoy Thumper being a thing in the game. It's almost as good as a one shot war machine. Like initially it had a very long damage range so it would instantly kill someone if someone was slightly low HP than max HP but also one shot someone if you directly land the Thumper on him. So the projectile was very much easy to read and has a decently fast bullet speed so using Thumpers was one of the easiest no skill things in the game and I've seen this being abused so much especially in a game mode 1v1 duel when people just choose launch and you actually have just an SMRS or an FFG and the opposition just keep spamming thumpers all the time. So at number two we had thumper and lastly at number one we have the newly added pistol which is as good as an SMG the Elkar 9. I would say I actually like this SMG a lot. Elkar 9 is pretty much balanced. When it was added we had this high fire rate SMG meta I'm talking about MAC-10 and CBR. So Elkar was never a match to them but I think Elkar can be one of the best secondary choices when it comes to accompanying it with a sniper. I use it all the time. It's literally one of my favorite guns in the game right now. Very much balanced, not too overpowered and that's what I like about it. So at number one, we had the Elgar 9. Out of all the things that I mentioned in the list, I would say the two things that I really enjoyed being added as a disguised overkill perk was the Elgar 9 and the 50 GS because they're really good but also at the same time they're really balanced. But when it comes to just thumpers, katanas, worst classless things added in the game and I would say a shorty somewhere in between these two categories so that was it guys that was my thought on overkill perk being added in the game without actually adding the perk itself if that makes sense that would be all guys for this video i really hope you find this video interesting do let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this there are five things that i mentioned right now in the list but is there something which i missed out i would love to know that from you thank you so much for watching this all the way till the end and i'll see you in the next one